The NCAA has denied a postseason waiver for James Madison University, who's undefeated, and Jacksonville State, as well as Tarlington State. I mean, it's I like this. This rule should have been stopped in the first. The, the rule that oh well, you move up or you move up to get into a conference. You can't play for the conference championship. You can't play in a postseason game. We had to deal with this when I was at South Alabama. It makes no sense. Like, if I had to sit here, and this is a layup for the NCAA. A layup. This would have been so easy for them to garner some, some good juju, Some right? much-needed juju. Some much-needed good juju. <laughs> but again, they just, you know, can't get out of their own way. Uh, that's typically what bureaucracy does. But I, I just, I, I'm having trouble understanding who this rule helps. Like it's, it's amazing, too. You don't see this when, when you're not moving up, right? Texas and Oklahoma go to the SEC. Are they, they're not ineligible. First year, right? Oregon and Washington, they go to the Big Ten. They're not ineligible the first year. Why the hell is James Madison? Mm. Why were we at South Alabama? Why is Jacksonville State? I, you mean it to, it's not a safety thing. I'm having to play the damn schedule. I'm having to run into the same guys full speed as everybody who's been in the conference has to full speed. It's a stupid rule. It's an archaic rule. It needs to be done. And guess what? When the NCAA is, is untethered, from college football, which is where we're going, we don't have to worry about dumbassery like this because mm, that's okay. what it is. It makes absolutely no sense. It makes nobody better. It helps no one. It only hurts the team and the players that are competing. Uh, I think it's an absolute joke. But again, just add it to the list. It's standard operating procedure for the NCAA. But these teams can play in a bowl if there aren't enough eligible teams at 500 at the end of the year. So, so just, you know, they get like slim pickings basically at the end. But you had an idea. That I There's think a way did. to fix this. Yeah. All right. There's a way to fix this. It's the Daily Wire Bowl. There we go. Good That's Rancher is. sponsored. Good Rancher is sponsored. Mm -hmm. Jen Ucell can be in there. You bring Jay right here. You. Nashville. Yeah. Liberty. Whoever the hell. Yeah, Vandy's not play. using there. No. Yeah, we'll go play in Stadium. Vandy Stadium. Okay. Why is no one protesting the NCAA? Did we just need to go find some, fat, been? some fat people with, with no jobs and purple hair and pay them $20 in a Kit Kat bar to go stand in front of the, <laughs> the NCAA facility and hold up a picket, a picket sign it's for a, a couple idea. hours? I mean, there's people protesting less than this. We could put some money somewhere. To Wait, get some should we do that them. thing where, like, they stay? Should we go to the NCAA and, like, just put orange paint on it and, like, like handcuff ourselves? Yeah, the and building? then give a speech. Yeah, like yeah. they do with, like, the like Da Vinci's paintings. No, we need the booster bowl. We need the yeah, Booster Bowl it. at the end of this year. James I love it. Madison, Jacksonville State, they meet here. Do you think we could talk to Bucky's? You'd love that, Where wouldn't you, big fella? Where's Bucky? Where's, where's little He's Bucky? He's right there. I'm looking oh, at him. Oh, there he is. He's in that there. Badger. Yeah, I would like that. You guys introduced me to Bucky's. Speaking of winning, I don't care if you're an Arizona fan, I don't care if you're a Washington fan, a Florida fan, or a Syracuse fan. Shout out to our boy Jimbo. You need to have great meat if you're going tailgating, or even at the house cooking dinner. Steak, chicken, seafood, pork, bacon, the whole gamut. And our friends over at Good Ranchers, their Black Friday Your Way sale is live right now, and it's something you don't want to miss. We always tell the fellas, hey, fellas, look, this, this sponsor would be a great idea, a great gift for the ladies. And I'm not saying ladies don't grill, all right? My wife, she's, she's a witch around the grill in a good way, all right? But <laughs> ladies, and if you're watching, this is an incredible gift for the hubby all right, and it's the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, this November, you get to pick your favorite meat to get free for a year. All right, let me say that again. This November, you get to pick your favorite meat that you get for free for a year between steak, salmon, chicken, or bacon when you subscribe to any box right now. What is Good Ranchers? They're a meat delivery service. It's 100% American based. It is an unbelievable, unbelievably great product. We have it all the time. There's literally steak and chicken sitting in my freezer right now that we have every other every night. Day, We've had it man. in 30,000 different ways. It's always fresh. I never worry about the source of it. Uh, whether it's feeding your kids, you don't have to worry about it, it being contaminated with all this crazy stuff that they have nowadays. It is pure and it is awesome. But better yet, when you subscribe to any Good Ranchers, uh, when, uh, when you subscribe to any box on GoodRanchers.com, you not only get, get a free gift of meat worth up to $480, but you also get $15 off with code BOOSTER. So claim your year of free meat, $15 off, and free shipping with our code BOOSTER, B-O-O-S-T-E-R, at GoodRanchers.com. There's a number one place to get all-American beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. That's promo code BOOSTER, B-O-O-S-T-E-R, at GoodRanchers.com. Good Ranchers American Meat Delivered. I'm telling you, hop on that. Just trust me. All right, if you're going to do anything today, get this handled. Do it. Really, really easy.
Hey everybody on YouTube, thank you guys for blowing up the channel. Make sure if you haven't yet, you subscribed, hit that like button on the videos. We really, really appreciate it and really enjoy bringing you sports the way you want to consume it.